Should you learn Unity in 2024? At the start of 2023, this never would have even been a real question. I mean, Unity is the most popular game engine that is currently available, contributing to over 750,000 games since 2005, and have also reported that 50% of modern games are created in the Unity engine. So why are we asking this question now? Well, if you're new to the game development scene or you've somehow missed it, in September of this year, Unity announced that the engine would become subject to runtime fees. What exactly does this mean though? As explained by Unity in the initial announcement, devices that installed games that were built using Unity would cost the developer a fee if the product reached a specific revenue and lifetime installation thresholds. Now this came as a shock to the game development community with Unity technologies facing mass backlash as a result. And understandably so. A lot of developers, even if they weren't directly affected by the change, decided that out of principle they were going to change engines, with some even giving up completely on their game development career. So is there any good reason to still learn Unity, especially when other engines are gaining popularity? Let's discuss the pros and cons of this topic and by the end of this video I hope you're able to make a judgement for yourself on the path that you want to take. For this video I'm going to use three game engines as primary examples, Godot, Unreal Engine and Unity but there are a lot of engines that are currently available, so I do encourage you to do some research on those other engines as well. Unity has been dominating the game development market for years now, from its beginner-friendly user interface to the abundance of tutorials available online. It really is no wonder that Unity has been the number one option for game developers around the world. And until now, this has been Unity's biggest advantage, its accessibility to the beginner game developer. Take Unreal Engine for example. The interface is a lot more complex under the hood. There are things like actors, players, characters, sub-actors, blueprints, widgets. It's just not as beginner friendly, whereas Unity truly is designed for anyone to use. And where Unity thrives, Unreal Engine seems to fault. The documentation of these properties just aren't as straightforward, making it unimaginably difficult for inexperienced developers to figure out where they made a mistake. But more than just the in-engine features, some of the biggest games in the world were created using Unity from single developers to large studios, such as Hollow Knight, Genshin Impact, Among Us, Cult of the Lamb, and even the two-man team behind Cuphead, which recently got adapted into a Netflix series. Success stories from even micro studios behind these great titles can motivate the independent developer to create the next big game. If they can do it, so can we. But is it worth it? With the news of Unity's runtime fees, the studios that created some of these games are now willing to take their game off the market. The overall greed that Unity Technologies has demonstrated has forced such a large chunk of game developers away from this engine. So is it time to start learning something else? If you're an existing Unity user who is looking for an alternative, the perfect engine seems to be Godot. Godot features an extremely familiar interface to Unity, but is one of the newest game engines and also happens to be completely open source, meaning that while the company behind it continues to develop the large updates, it is also being built and cleaned up by the community. Godot also supports multi-language scripting, meaning if you're comfortable in C-sharp from Unity or C++ from Unreal, you'll be able to navigate into the scripting side of development of this engine with ease. Now, that being said, Godot being as new as it is, still has a long way to go in terms of overall development. Things are still being cleaned up, but there are already hundreds if not thousands of available tutorials online to get you started on your Godot journey. But we didn't come here to just discuss Godot, we're here to talk about Unity. Should you learn Unity? Unity, even with all of the negative press, is still an extremely powerful engine to use and is the perfect gateway into game development as a whole. But a question that I imagine a lot of people are going to have will be, I want to work in game development and with studios starting to move away from Unity, am I just wasting my time learning it? The short answer would be, absolutely not. Unity, as I have mentioned, has been the go-to engine for studios of all sizes for over 10 years now, and employers recognize this. So when it comes to looking for work, will they not consider people with Unity as their primary experience? No. Especially as a junior developer or someone just starting out in software, you will 9 out of 10 times be hired purely for your potential. If you can prove that you're capable of adapting and learning, then a studio is a lot more likely to hire you, even if you have little to no experience in their chosen engine. But again, why not just learn a new engine? And this is an extremely valid question to have, and there's a few things to consider. First, not every studio will switch engines, so if you start learning Unity and you really like it, you may still be fortunate enough to find a studio that uses it. 
But if you're just starting out in your game development journey, my recommendation would always be to just start with the engine that has the most resources. And without a doubt, that's going to be Unity. Spend time learning it, spend time understanding the principles of coding, basic math, and just how an engine functions, because you will always have time to move to a different engine. And if you're comfortable in Unity or C Sharp, then once you move to a new engine, your own knowledge will allow you to navigate it. You'll know how to look up questions you need answers to, you'll already know basic practices, why things work and don't work, and you'll have a lot less headache trying to understand some documentation. I will stress again, these are my own views. I have used Godot, I have used Unreal, and I have used Unity, and I've always found comfort in Unity. But research the different engines that are available and find the one that suits you the most. If you guys have any other opinions, leave a comment down below because although I am biased with my opinions, I want every developer to have the best experience in this industry as possible. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and check out some of my other videos I have available. Thank you all and take care.